This is a Mexican. Now why does she look so Asian? While many people think of the Filipino-Mexican connection during colonial times, the actual story is far more fascinating and stretches back thousands of years. The topic of population genetics in Mexico has always been very complex, but after spending several weeks analyzing dozens of scientific studies, we are finally able to give you an accurate report of Mexican ancestry. According to a 2024 study, Mexican heritage can be tied to three main ancestral populations, with the first one often being the most overlooked. Between the 16th and 19th centuries, roughly 200,000 African slaves were forcibly transported to New Spain from primarily West Africa, making it one of the largest African slave destinations in Spanish America. Strangely, it was not until 2015 that Mexico's census officially recognized Afro-Mexicans, revealing that approximately 1.2% of the population identifies as such. Genetic studies show that African admixture is most prominent in regions like southeastern Mexico, areas historically associated with sugar plantations and ports central to the Atlantic slave trade. Interestingly, an African and Mexican, John de la Cruz, played a vital role in Spain's liberation. But there is a population that has had a far greater impact than Africans among modern Mexicans and has been rooted in the Americas for much longer. The indigenous peoples of the Americas, often referred to as Amerindians, have inhabited Mexico for over 10,000 years. Amerindians are believed to have arrived in several waves of migration from Asia, primarily crossing the Bering Strait land bridge during the last ice age, occurring approximately 20,000 to 14,000 years ago, and was followed by a rapid expansion southwards along the western coast of the continents. Most Mexicans are classified as mestizos, a result of admixture between Europeans and Amerindians. Genetically, Mexico is similar to countries like Chile and Peru in this regard, and much higher than countries like Brazil and Argentina. But it gets even more fascinating if we look at the genetic map of Mexico today. We will discover something remarkable. Indigenous ancestry isn't evenly distributed. In North, it averages around 30%, Whereas in the south, it can soar to an astonishing 70%. So Mexican mestizos range from being largely European to predominantly Amerindian, reflecting the country's vast regional and historical variation. Unlike Mexico, countries like Chile have evolved into more uniform admixtures, showing less regional variation. The concentration of indigenous ancestry in central Mexico is closely tied to the historical presence of the Aztec Empire whose dense pre-Columbian population was ravaged by epidemics. The devastation caused by disease left native populations vulnerable, creating a void for the next group to exploit. European colonization profoundly transformed Mexico's demographic and genetic landscape, initiating with the Spanish conquest in the early 16th century. Unlike in Northern America, where white settlers often brought their wives to start a family, European male settlers in Mexico intermarried with indigenous women, which is reflected in the haplogroup distribution today. Genetic studies reveal that around 64% of Y chromosomes in Mexican men are of European origin, a stark contrast to the 95% indigenous mitochondrial DNA inherited maternally. Unlike Latin American countries such as Argentina or Brazil, which have become more European since the 19th century, Political instability and economic challenges limited large-scale European immigration. Nevertheless, small groups of Italians, Germans, French and other Europeans established communities, leaving lasting cultural and genetic legacies. As mentioned at the beginning, many people once believed that the Asian features of Mexicans originated from Filipino migration during colonial times. However, we now know that these features were shaped by much older Asian migrations. Here is a mind-bending twist. It was not Filipino migration that influenced Mexico, but rather the genetic flow went the other way, an exchange that explains why approximately 2% of the Filipino genome today is of Amerindian origin. Given another 500 years, Mexico's genetic landscape could mirror the diversity of South Asia, where genetic mixing is widespread, but socio-economic and cultural distinctions still play a significant role. 
Interestingly, Mexico already shows striking parallels to South Asia with Amerindian ancestry levels correlating closely to socio-economic stratification, a legacy of the casta system that mirrors the caste system in India.